All right, here we are again. Got us up another loot crate. See that? There we go. Okay, for those of you who were watching last time, I was uh, not too thrilled or impressed with the last loot crate I received. And I said that if this one is not a win, that this one will uh, be the end of my subscription at Loot Crate. So this is the fantasy theme box, which I did have a very big hype for after hearing what was supposed to be in it. And um, it is with great shame that I must admit that there will be no trusty steak knife today. I'm a bad person. In my, uh, in the haste of my dear loved one who was hoping for something very specific in this box, when it came in, and I knew I wouldn't have time to do this immediately, I, uh, I did open the box to see if what was wished was in it, and it is not. I will explain that further later. I, uh, honestly, I didn't go through every single individual thing in this box yet, but um, what we were hoping for is not, so it is already open. Um, I will not act like I have, ooh, I'm so surprised, but there are some things in here I'm not sure what's in here, so I'll explain exactly what I was looking for after. All right, so let's get to it, shall we? Ooh. Obviously, that's on top of the shirt. Another one with a shirt. I got no complaints about that. I've seen some of these that don't have shirts, and uh, shirts are kind of my big thing. Look at the box. The box looks actually kind of cool. I kind of, I kind of like the whole how they individually theme the boxes a little bit. That gives them a little something, but still, like I said, the covert box that week. Eh. So let's see if the fantasy one lives up to it. It didn't have what I wanted. I'll explain. All right. Let's see what we got first. We got ourselves. A Nice big old red t-shirt. Kool-Aid jokes in the comments below. Oh yeah. All right, so. Looks to me like an, like an ampersand made of a dragon. So I'm gonna assume that is a D&D &D reference. Not exactly sure, but you know, dragon and the ampersand means and. And uh, there you go, D and D. So, yeah, I actually kind of like that. I don't normally wear red all the time for the case I'm mistaken as, you know, Kool-Aid or the world's largest fire hydrant. Don't pee on me. What else we got here? We got a little bow tie. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Let's pop that bad boy open. Uh, where is the open side? Ah, there it is. No, the sausage fingers fail me. Okay, here we go. Let's see. A little bow tie, huh? Look, it's got uh, little dragons and uh, oh, 20 side dies. Supposed to go with the shirt? D20s. Black T Geek. Oh, okay, let's see. Does it fit my fat neck? Probably not. Especially since I didn't look at it. Okay, there it goes. There we go. I hated Matt Smith as Doctor Who, and I will say that bow ties are not cool. Especially not on me. I will not take up my shift to my shirt and do a Chris Farley Chippendale SNL skit. No one wants to see that. Alright, let's see. We've got the pin. Alright, the pin. The little loot crate. I guess that's the fantasy logo. That's the world's worst map. If you can't find the treasure that close to the gigantic tower, you shouldn't be looking for treasure. Let's see. This is a thing. I don't know what this is. It's squishy and it feels like in some kind of plastic you inflate, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, I did open this to see if that thing that I wanted was in it. Uh, there's no way I could have been able to tell what this is. And it is. What the hell is that? Wow. Really? I really need to show you in this case. Oh, there we go. It looks like a Burger King crown. Probably not a Burger King crown, but it's an inflatable crown nonetheless. And I will not take the time to inflate it, I'll just wear it like this. There we go. Is that? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to spot that the rest of it. So I get the bow tie. 
And, um, <sighs> yikes. Okay, let's see. We got the Harry Potter thing. I am not a fan of Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I haven't, I haven't been sleeping a lot. I've been getting over a sickness. So the reason why one of my videos I want post, was supposed to put out has not come out yet. But there we go. Okay. It is a Harry Potter 9 and 3 fourths. It looks like... Oh, a bag tag. Boy, is this supposed to be like the train near supposed to uh, the gate? I've only seen a few of them. I'm just not a fan. I'm a huge fantasy fan and just not a fan of Harry Potter. Uh, they said they had Game of Thrones stuff in here and I'm seeing a couple things. Okay, a little Game of Thrones. Oof. I could always use another flash drive. That's that's not too shabby. So we got here. Oh, it's it's the dire wolf. Okay. House Stark. That's uh that's kinda cool. It doesn't say doesn't say how many gigs this hold. I'm going to assume since it came out of this box. And it is what it you know, the rest of this stuff is pretty cheap. I'm going to assume this is an eight gig. I will check this out later. Actually, after I'm done this video and I start editing it, maybe I will uh, throw it in the comments to let everybody know what exactly. I mean, not in the comments. I'm sorry, the description to let you know what this is. Uh, okay, here's the point I was gonna make. Uh, since I don't see it, obviously in here, when I saw the Game of Thrones stuff and what I was expecting, I really was expecting a pop vinyl. I wanted a toy. I completed this last Loot Crate video. Where are my toys, man? I want my freaking toys? But. Nope. No toys. So yeah. Uh, we'll just go with this next. Oh. Princess Bride playing cards. These I am pretty sure I will actually use. But it's been a while since I've uh, gotten together in a game of poker. But. And taken some paychecks. But uh, I will actually use these. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see, what else we got here? We got Game of Thrones Sigil Magnets. So, yep, there's the House Stark thing as we just talked about, and the Lannisters, and Targaryens, and Baratheons, and blah, blah, blah. So, magnets, that's kind of. I mean, honestly, I do need some magnets for my fridge. It's, yeah, it's pretty bare. But, I guess. Again, uh, this wasn't what I was expecting when they said Game of Thrones stuff. Magnets and a flash drive? Come on. Come on. And it looks like lastly, the little, uh, little book here. Which tells you all the cool stuff of people who enjoy their stuff because they have low expectations. And, uh, yeah. So... Tells you what's in it. So yeah, it's got the inflatable crown and the bow tie. I don't like bow ties, but I'm gonna support this for a little while. And the inflatable crown and the cards and a T-shirt with a guy who has gauges that are far too big. I've never been a gauge fan. I always thought it was weird to put giant holes in your ears. That's just me. Uh, yeah. And the mega crate, which I am sure I will never win. Especially now. So, that is all for the Root Credit for this month. Um, best thing in this box, uh, the t-shirt's not too bad. We can, we're cool with the t-shirt. Uh, the flash drive, I mean, it's cool to give away a flash drive. Yeah, it's, it just, it just seems tacky. Especially when it comes to the uh, put in context what I expected. The cards, uh, the t-shirt. I'm sad about the last touchy snake knife. This will never happen again. All right, I got the Marvel collector's course coming, which is going to be late. First month, it's already late. And uh, the horror block again coming this month. Trusty snake knife will be there. 
Okay. See, I had to go out and buy these to get my fix, man. All right, I had to get her what she wanted. This is the reason why I opened the box. To get the woman, a Daenerys Targaryen. She had to have it. So I went out and bought it separately for this, man. And uh, I got myself a Jon Snow because it's really all they had. All right. So I will say this. I stated many, many times on many different forums and such that if you can mess up Game of Thrones, Dungeons and Dragons, and The Princess Bride, I will definitely be canceling my subscription. And this, my dear friends, is a cosmic fail. Okay? So there will be a lot of... I will be checking other ones. There will be a lot of other videos. This stuff is awesome. And I'm so happy. And if you really believe that, your expectations are unbelievably low. And, um, yeah. This wasn't worth the money that it cost. I mean, come on. An inflatable crown. Come on. Really? This would have saved you. Would have. One. Just one. Even small ones. Even those little mini ones. Put those in here. This is just... This is the lowest common denominator. Uh, now. Next month. Think about that. And I will be either doing the one-up box. Or the box of dread. I haven't decided which one I want yet. So uh, anybody with a suggestion. Right down there. Alright. I will be putting the link in the description for a loot crate because, you know, I'm not an ass. I am an ass. But I'm not going to be one of those guys. This is what it is. Some people will like it. You're wrong. But, you know, I will throw this down there for anybody who wants to check out Loot Crate. I mean, it's not insanely priced. At the shipping and handling, it's like 21 and change. So that's not terrible. But past months have been better. I really wish I got last October. It's because there's a lot of cool stuff in there. But, yeah, I'm just done rambling, and, uh, no, no, no. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, you probably won't like it, because I kind of say those things that people don't want to say. So, yeah. I wish I had a little mummy thing to make a cool thing like I did last time. Anyway, bye. What a damn handsome man.